Hi guys. So I'm on with basically the subby request. I've had a few people want to know how I put the envelopes together to make my little envelope journal thingy that I did. So when I put them together, I didn't show it on camera because I had no idea what I was doing. And I still don't because I've completely forgotten how I've done it, but we're gonna see how we go and wing it. <laughs> so, um, the idea is, is just make sure that the two envelopes that you want to use on the outside are the same size to make a neat cover. So they're not. These two look pretty well the same. And for my outside too, I also had windows. So these both have windows in them. So I might make those my outside too. And then I've got another one, two, three, four for the inside. So I started by just opening up all of my envelopes that were closed, because a lot of them I just cut open. Like this one, I've cut open that end. It doesn't really matter where they're open because you can always glue them closed. Now you can, I have heard people say they've held them over steam to open them up neatly, but I didn't care with this project. So I basically just got something in and run it along and tried not to break it so much that I wouldn't be able to use it for what I wanted to use it for. And just open them up. And as I, as I said, they will be open in other areas where you've opened them before, but we can just stick them together when we decide uh, what we want to do with each one. So I will just continue doing that with them all, and then I'll be back once I've done that. So I have ripped up all the tops of my envelopes. And as you can see, some of them are pretty rough. Actually, all of them are a bit rough, but it doesn't matter, we cover all the bits and pieces anyway, so. And I've decided on these two for my covers, the back and front. So we'll start with those. And then I've got all of the ones that I used in my little journal were window envelope, envelopes bar for one. So I've got one here that's not a windowed envelope. Now it doesn't really matter. You can cut your own windows in them. You can have them without windows. You can use whatever envelopes you like to do this with. So next thing we want to do is stick this envelope to this envelope to create our cover part. So we will do that next. So what we want to do is just stick the back of this one onto now let's just have a look. Maybe we'd be better off swapping these around so we're not covering up a window. Although I'll probably cover up one of these windows anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Just ate curry. <laughs> Wasn't very hot, but yeah. Usually I'm sucking on a mint when I do my videos, but um, we seem to be running out at the moment. So I'm pretty sure last time I did this I used double-sided tape as well as my Hellmann's glue just to give it some extra security and stick. Also, if you just do double-sided tape, you really don't have wiggle room, but I find if you put the glue on top of the double-sided tape, sometimes it allows you a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm just gonna use one piece of this and just make sure you don't put it down where your little hingy bit's gonna be, where the fold is. on it. Now I can't even remember how I put these all together so <laughs> I have watched uh, my video back to try and figure it out so but it doesn't really matter you can do a similar thing it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Let's 
So you just put the glue on that flap and then line up this one as well as you can on there. Make sure it closes over all right, which it looks like it will. So now we'll make sure it's adhered nicely. Doesn't matter if you get glue sticking out here and there, because as you know, we do cover basically all of it in book page. So that's the cover. There's your front window. I'll show you this one. There's our front window there. And then you turn it over and there's the back window there. And we'd probably end up covering over that one. So the next thing we have to do is this page. So if we, and now that one doesn't, I covered the window in that one, but it was a windowed envelope. So either way, it doesn't really matter. But I will grab another one of my envelopes. Now look at how much I've ruined that one. But it doesn't matter, we can still use that. So make sure we've got it right, which we have. Now for this one, we're gonna leave this flap because we'll be able to use that to put another page on. And I'm going to stick this one down in here. All right, so that's just gonna slide in like that and that way that will create a page like that so this one's going to be a little bit more tricky because it's um quite broken and what you can do is you don't need the whole flap as long as you've got some so i'm just going to cut a bit of this off because it just can make it a bit easier without all the rough bits just like that neater now all right so it makes it a bit easier having this cut up here too because we'll be able to slip it in a bit easier so we're going to put the double-sided tape and the glue on this side of the flap to stick down <clears throat> double-sided tape will help this stay together too so it's a good way of using up your beaten up envelopes that you've ripped or cut open or whatever they definitely don't end up looking beaten up once you've finish, finished covering it all. <clears throat> it's not as cold as yesterday, which I'm very thankful for. So I'm not having to wear my dressing gown at the crafty table. It gets so big and bulky and hard to craft in, I reckon. check that that's the front yes now you've just got to make sure you're not sticking your window uh, your envelopes down and that while you're doing this so just be mindful of that and that you can turn your pages you're gluing it where you want it which this I think needs to come out a little bit I might move anything, something comes with it. I'll just use my bone folder to press it down and spread the glue out. <coughs> so now we've got that. 
I've got that and we've got this flap here. So the next one we're working on, so we've got the front and then we've got the second one. So the next one is this one. So this is just the one envelope that I have cut open all around this edge to create the fold out. So we want a window on this side. So we'll grab another windowed envelope, which will be this one. Now, I might have already done something a bit different than what I did, but I don't. I could always cut this top bit off and then stick that on, which won't matter. There's so many different ways of doing it, so we definitely want that on this side. Just debating, do I cut it open now? It's already open there. So we might cut the other edge just along here so that we can flip that right open. And then that's already done for us. So yeah, just cut the tiniest bit off the end here. Here, I should say. I say ear and then I remember my grandmother in my ear telling me to speak properly. So there, that's how I created the flip out bit. So, oh no, that works because we've got, because we're flipping it out that way. So I must have stuck that down on there like that. Would work. I might have even kept that one shut and then cut down the top there, which I'll do to show you what I mean, actually, so that you know, because we can fix that. Um, actually, yep. So if we shut this one, I mean, either way, it doesn't really matter, but I'll do it this way to show you what I mean. So you've got your closed envelope like that, other than this other side. Now, which way are we opening it up? That one, yeah. So, if we cut along the top here to open it up. And then we've got just more area here to stick onto the next bit, which is helpful. Because we'd stick this down like that, and that would be our hinge for this page. So, I mean, it's still stick down without this bit, but that just creates more area to have a better connection, I suppose you could say. Just trying to line things up so your page is semi-straight, which I'm not always the best at. So we will put our glue and stuff on this flap. Cook it is, but that doesn't matter. It's just an extra reinforcement. all up the right way. I've always got to do that with all of my projects because I'm a good one for putting things on upside down. Now you might find better ways of doing all this and sticking them in. It's just, um, you know, experiment with your envelopes and try all these different ways of sticking them together and see what works. this page up where we want it. Give it a bit of room to close. 
Now if that closes, we want to make sure that it's in line with everything else. And that that's going to close, which it looks like it will. And then I move it, and there goes all my hard work. Look pretty good there. All right, so then we just put this down. Just rip this bit off. So it's nice just to check that everything's closing all right as you go. Um, of course, once we cover them over, what you can do is cut things a bit shorter if you're having trouble with things getting folded, which it probably will here once we've stuck more things on it and that. So I'll probably cut this down a little bit when we um, collage over the top. All right, so that's got our first three pages and we just did our flip out. So then we've got one, two more pages there. And now this page is the little envelope that doesn't have a window. This one has a window. So, got to figure out how we put them in, which I think we'll grab our window envelope. And the window was down the bottom. Yes. Now, I'm pretty sure we're going to be sticking this one in like this. pretty good and then we've got uh, one that has a flip up and a flip out and everything like that so that one must have gone in like that I reckon yep I reckon that is right <laughs> let's roll everything all right so let's stick this one in next If I can, what am I hanging on to? It's this one. Get myself confused. I'm always getting confused. So I'm just going to chop this one down a little bit to make it a bit easier to manage. That'll do. And we are sticking it. Now, which way did we have a. Yeah, that way. Put our double sided tape on this side. It's so stupidly easy, really, to make this. Um, and even the way I collaged it afterwards and everything, but it's um, turned out so nicely, really effective with just the pages and tea dyed paper and that. And I know a lot of people were interested in giving it a go sometime. And a lot of people felt that it was too hard for them, but I'm here to show you it is so easy. And the one that I did show was the first time I'd ever done it. So if I can do that, you can all do it as well. So give it a go. It's heaps of fun. Great way to use up um, all these envelopes that I can't seem to throw out, but I tend to not do much with. myself up here just glued on that window but we'll get that off that's all right just slap me that is definitely the front that is definitely the back we don't want it I know why if I just cut this down a little bit we won't get it on the window <laughs> okay must have heart attack then got some cleaning up to do off of that window 
Yeah, that's better. I'll just re-glue it. You definitely don't want this going over the window that you want to leave open. Now, make sure we've got it up where, yep, that's up the right way. And that's up the right way. Now, let's try and get it where we want it. That works. Get there that we could. That'll do. Make sure it's all shutting all right. Beautiful, it's looking good so far. Clean up the window after. Just rubbing some of the glue off. And then I'll attack that afterwards and get the rest off, but it's coming off all right because it's sort of slippery. Now we've got our last little one that we're going to use for our flip up and all that sort of stuff, which is going to sit. Yeah, I definitely did it that way. So I'm just going to tidy it up along the top here a bit because I've mangled this one a fair bit. So as long as you set, leave yourself a nice hinge bit, you're pretty well right, especially if you're using double-sided tape and glue to stick them down. Um, now I'm just debating whether I want to cut the flip up and flip out. Let's have a look at what size I did the ones in here. So we have this flip up and we have this flip out. Actually, you take the card out first and that flips out. So that's what we're creating now. And then we've got a little pocket down there. So we want to cut it so we've got the little pocket. So that basically was just me going like this, trying to do it straightish. So that's our little pocket bit there. And then we've got our flip out bit. So we'll just do that about there. And there's our little flip out bit. And then we've got the flip up bit, which is just me cutting up this bit. All right, so there's our flip up. There's our flip out, crooked as, but I can straighten them up no problems. Because what we do is cover this with the long bits of paper to make the flip up cover this to make the flip out so there is allowance to be able to correct things straighten them up and all of that and then cover the little pocket bit as well so that's ready to put in now so we'll put stuff on this side try and do it right this time Slip this in here. Now we might aim at getting it. Yeah, so the other one we put up towards the top, sort of. 
again, we want to know that our pages are going to close. about there we'll do. Let's just check. It takes a bit of a bearer. Probably should have put some of these in a bit more but it doesn't matter because I can cover over and make this a bit longer when I cover it. dry a bit. So this is it. This is the base. And I said it's a bit short there. Oh, that's that envelope. Could be a few of them, but you can always cut them down if it bothers you or just extend. I'll probably just extend this when I cover it to cover over. So that's it. That's our front page with the window that one we've got this one which is our flip out that one this one which is the flip up flip out and pocket and then we've got this one at the back which is another window envelope so I think that'll do for this video so anyone that wants to do it can spend the next you know few days or a week um, saving some envelopes and getting this done and then I will come back on and show all the other pockets and that that I made on here. And we'll start covering it and everything. I might as well go through and do the whole lot again for whoever might be interested to follow along. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Me bumbling around as usual. Take care, be safe. See you later, guys.